Hey friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Spencer, a master's student studying at National University of Singapore. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys my Notion setup. Why I make this video? Because I've been using Notion for almost two years and has totally changed my life. But just found most of my classmates have not ever heard of this app, so I want to make this video to share some of the tips and tricks that I find useful while I'm using Notion. So let's get started. What is Notion exactly? The answer is, it depends. Depends on how you're going to build it, how you're going to design it. But generally speaking, Notion is the only one app that you can literally put everything in it and in addition, organize them. Somebody build it as a note-taking app, somebody build it as a cloud drive like Google Drive, but I build it as my second brain. So what is a second brain and why we need a second brain? Okay, I always make this analogy that our brains are subjected to uh, the kind of restrictions of forgetting curves, so in the long run we can forget literally everything. We cannot remember every details that we ever study or we ever went through. So this is the problem. And this is why we need Notion, and Notion can do this job perfectly. So I will show you how. So the first page that I'm going to show you is called Skills Pool. Uh, I named it Skills Pool because I put all of my knowledge and skills in this page. It serves like the uh, skills hub for my entire Notion setup. Okay, so let's take a look. Um, I store all of the skills in this database called Skills Library. So in the first column, I put all of my programming languages and packages that I've learned or plan to learn in the future here. In the second column, uh, I put all, all of the real life applications here like the iOS development, web development, and materials simulation. In the third column, I put all of the STEM subjects here. STEM is an acronym of Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. So in the fourth column, uh, I put all of the soft skills as well as book list here. Okay, and you can see in the book list, I used another database to store all of the books. Let's get back. And in the fifth column, I put all of the apps like MATLAB, JetBrains, blah, blah, blah in here. Uh, I store all of the tips and tricks uh, while I'm using these apps and some shortcuts and some manuals. Mm. And in the sixth column, I put all of the language related pages here. Like I started to learn Spanish last year. So I put Spanish here and I'll show you guys later how I use this page. And on the seventh column, I store some of the Chinese and healthy cuisines here. Another fantastic function for Notion is you can link this database with another database. So I use this function to create another future planning page. I'll show you. So scroll up to here, you can click life plan. Here as I scroll down, you can see uh, under the yearly plan database, I extract all of the skills I store in previous skills library database to here, and I make this yearly plan. So once I set the year, the database will calculate my age for me. As you can see, last year 2020, that I didn't finish the skills that I scheduled. Uh, so if I want to switch this uh, skills to this year, uh, do this year, then I can do it in two ways. The first one is lock the database or unlock the page, then I click on it and I cancel this here and I click the box below Then I type HTML in the box then we'll search the HTML page in the skills library database then I can add it here okay there's another way to do it like if this one is highlighted like in a blue color you can hit command C then you use the up arrow to move the box to the upper one and you can hit command V to paste it. Then you can move down to delete this one. So this tip is going to save you some time because if you're dealing with a large database that you can use the shortcut uh, command C and command V to copy and paste. If you want to create a new skill that is not listed in the previous skills library database, you can create it here. Like, uh, if you want to learn stock this year, you can just uh, tap here and you type stock. 
it will say you can create a new page stocking skills library then you click this plus icon then you can create a stock in the skills library and then you can go back to check if it appears there then you go back you can find the stock where is the stock no category you can drag it to uh, to soft skills then it resides here okay since we get back to this page I tell you something more uh, say if I want to review my Python skill like I studied Python a year before then I want to review it I can just open the Python page open it okay in this page I put all of the terminologies and other easy access tools on the left hand side and such as examples and projects on the right hand side so let's say I forget the definition of list then I open this toggle and I can check the definition of list and I can read the related codes another cool thing here is you can set the language of this uh, code block you can unlock it first and you can set the language like any language like Fortran 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 or Python or shell anything uh, shell say if I'm reading this row and I can't understand it so you can add a comment here like in any other ID application if you're reading this comment and you don't remember the definition of a method you can just click on this one that I created before because this is an in-page link you click on it and it will take you to the definition of a method so that's the overall page setup of how to manage your skills and knowledge in Notion. So the second page that I'm going to show you is where I manage all of my schoolwork. Uh, on the top of this page is called the to-do list. This is also a database. You may be wondering why I like using database this much. This is because uh, you can use the template feature within the database. Like if you create a blank page within the database, so you can use the template uh, within the database to create every single new page so you don't have to create it from scratch I'll show you later uh, but if you create a page within a page that you cannot use the template feature so this is why I like using database this much okay um, so here the numbers are days left to the deadline and below that is where I put my modules in this semester that you can easily get the partition of each module from this table also you can check the professor's info if you want to contact them now imagine we sign up for another module called how to master notion then i click this new button and i type how to master notion then we create this module then we can use this template feature we click template so it would generate the template that we created before it sometimes take a while so here is the template I, that I built before that we can add the task here say if the professor assigned us a homework so we can add a new task here like homework 1 and we can also set the due date it's like uh, uh, next Monday then the database will calculate uh, how many days left to the deadline and the status is here if we jump back to the main page like this if we jump back uh, the test that we created before will appear here because these two databases are linked so say if we want to do some work in this homework one you can use this template here and it will generate uh, the preset format for you yeah it's like a link page you can link with somewhere like Python before you can link with Python and you can set the requirements like bring your brain and you can put all of the resources here like uh, any PDF or any uh, any other types of file it can be embedded in the Notion page. It's like just like the Cloud Drive, the Google Drive. Then you can put everything on it and it will store it for you. So let's rock, we can do some work here. Uh, like we can create a table. 
we can create an inline table. If you want to set a title, it's like the work. And you can add anything that you want. Or you can embed your mind map here. Like you type the slash. It'll bring you to the toolbox and you select like you can, you can also type uh, I forgot the name, sorry. Uh, you can search this swim scope. So this is the another app that you can make mind map and you can uh, embed the mind map into Notion. So the third page that I'm gonna show you is the page where I organize all of my applications process. So I built this page when I was a third year undergraduate student because I was applying for graduate schools at that stage. On top of this section, I created this database to track all of my applications process. We can talk about this later. As we scroll down, here is the section where I put all of the graduate schools that I'm interested in. Each one is in a single page. I would do the research first and then put the relevant information in the schools page. So let's take McMaster for example. I jot down the deadlines for applications and uh, language requirements. So here is the embedded link. If you click on it, it will bring you to the program website. After the research, we can pick up some schools that are most suitable for us and put them into a list. Then we can start our application, just like this. Then we can use this list to track our applications. You can also create a database to store your statement of purpose like this, like this for Imperial College London. You can store your personal statement or statement of purpose inside this subpage. And you can link this database uh, with the mother uh, database like this. So you can access your statement of purpose here without entering the single page. And you can see here, here's the country and the status and uh, you have to receive offer before, deposit deadline, and tuition fee, and your preferences. So this is the overview of how this page looks like. The last one that I'm gonna show you is the place where I keep all my papers. I love this page the most because before I built this page, I was always struggling with managing all of my papers, but now it's just a piece of cake. This database is relatively more complicated than the previous one, but don't be scared. The first thing I want to show you guys is how to create your own paper page in this database. Okay, let's click new here. And here's the paper that I found. Let's copy the title here. And then we copy the link to this link section. Then you can use your own tools to unlock this paper like, like this. Then you can download this to your download folder and you get back to your notion you drag sorry hey 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 you drag your paper to the doc section then notion will store this PDF version of your paper for you and next time you don't have to unlock it again the second scenario is that if you want to analyze this paper you can use the template you set before the one that I like the most is the CCC structure we click this template and just wait for it. So here is the template that I created before. Uh, this is called the CCC structure, the context, content, and conclusion. Like you can um, analyze the whole paper into these sections. Like the first section is abstract, like the question, our purpose, how we do, what we found, how it matters. And here's the full content that can be divided into problem, uh, experiments, and remaining problem, contributions we made. Then you can see here on the left hand side is the terminology and references and questions. I can show you the most standard one that I created by using this template. This one. As you can see, the doc is here and the description is here. Uh, description is like the abstract of this paper and keywords, link, and the authors and the references. You can also see the references here and you can add 
uh, your reference link into the page. If you click on it, it will bring it to the reference itself. So the third scenario for using this uh, paper database is if you want to run an essay and want to refer to lots of papers, uh, you can just type at here and you can like the, the one we used before, you can just type any of the keywords and it will link uh, to the paper itself. And you can bring the paper here. So the cool thing here is because you put all of the papers in one database and you create one template, so you can use the template even here. Let's open it. We can delete them all. And we can use this template. The last thing that I want to share with you guys uh, is the inline equation function in Notion. It's really, really useful for science students and engineering students, also good for finance students. So here is the investment module that I took uh, at my fourth year in university. So these are all the equations that I have to remember. Um, so I just organize them in one place in Notion. These are not inline equation actually because when I was taking this module, Notion team didn't add this function. But nowadays we can create inline equation. So this is another page called quantum mechanics. And this is the one that I mentioned before. This is the mind map app, Whimsical, that you can embed your mind map here. And here is the equation uh, created by the inline equation function. This is called Cortex. And it's really similar to LaTeX, uh, which I know many students are using it. So this is the end of this video. If you guys are interested, please let me know in the comment section below. I didn't make any explanation of how I make those templates as well as those pages in this video because I'm not quite sure you guys are interested in. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel. I appreciate that. Have a nice day. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.